वेलकम एवरी वन टूडे वी विल क्रिएट ए लॉग इन पेज यूजिंग पी एच पी एंड माई एस क्यूएल इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी सॉ दैट हाउ टू क्रिएट ए साइन अप पेज यूजिंग पी एच पी एंड माई एस क्यूएल सो एट फर्स्ट आई विल ओपन दैट प्रोजेक्ट दिस वन वायर आई हैव ए पेज इंडेक्स डॉट पी एच पी एंड आई हैव अनदर पेज लॉग इन डॉट पी एच पी आई विल ओपन द इंडेक्स डॉट पी एच पी इन द ब्राउजर टू शो यू द साइन अप पेज so this was the sign up page where the user can where a user can sign up by giving the following credentials we will also check the database i will log in to my php my admin and we used this database php tutorial inside php tutorial i have a table user details and these are the users that we logged in so we will add another user test user username also test user password 12 confirm password 12 and sign up now the user gets a message you have successfully signed up and go to the login page but our login page is blank now we will configure it and the data is already stored in the db we can see this one okay so i will open the login.php it's blank i will copy the whole code from index.php and paste it in the login.php i don't need this much code so i will delete the part that's not required i will read this part and control s and in the login system i don't need this much credentials i only need username and password so i will delete the confirm password field and the interview name field also i will change the sign up to login done and the submit button will also have login text inside and i will check the page now and we can see that our login form is here i will add another br to make the submit button separated okay it's looking good now let's write the php code so i have already given a condition that if the submit button is pressed this condition then only the below code will run at first uh, we need the db connection inside the login.php and i have written the db connection code in the underscore dbcon.php which is this one and i have required the file in the login.php using the path of the file now i will create two variables to store the user inputted values from the form this form the first one will be get username and the second one will be get get pass get password okay here the value is transferred using the post method so i will write post and inside it i need to write the name of the field get username same for the second variable done now i need to write the sql code to check that the given values are already present in the table or not for that i need to check the name of the columns in the table i need only two columns here first one is the username second one is the password so let's write the sql query at first i will write the code inside this double quotes and i will store it inside the sql variable we can also name it like sql1 no issues now let's write select start from our name of the table 
which is user details from user details where the username equal to the value inside this variable and password equal to the value inside get password variable control b control s now let's check the column names are right or not username and password username and password okay now i need to write the mysql query function which will get us the result mysql query this takes two arguments first one is connect our connection variable second one is the sql query variable sql1 now i will use another function which is mysql i num rows which gives us the number of rows returned by the sql query and i will store that in a variable as well count rows equal to mysql i num rows this takes one argument only which is the sql race now i will print the count rows variable to check that the code is working or not okay I will open the page here. I will give a valid credential like code and one two three, code and and one two three, and login. We can see that with the given credentials, I have only one row in the table, which is the first table, first row. I will give a random credential now. and if i log in we can see that i have no row in the table when i am giving the inputs randomly now i will write if condition if the num rows equal to equal to 0 then the user will get a message that the account not not available okay this will go in please please sign up i will give random input and login i have some problem here unidentified values numbers okay nice i need to change it i have written wrong variable name and control r here and we can see that account not available please sign up and if the user press sign up it will go to the sign up form looking good i will delete this not needed control s okay if this condition is not satisfied that means the user is already available in the database so they can log in so what will happen now they can access the dashboard.php i have not created that yet so i will create dashboard.php done i will go to the login.php again 
and I will write here header location dashboard dot php control s now if i give valid credentials like code and 123 and 123 then the user will be forwarded to the dashboard dot php but i have one problem here that this dashboard dot php does not recognize the user that uh, who has logged in now I will go to the login.php again and use sessions inside this else block. So I need to start the session here. Session start. Okay. The session has started now. After that, I want to display the username in the dashboard.php when the user is forwarded to that page. For that, I will create a session variable here. Session. I need to give it a name like send username equal to this variable. Control S. Done. Now I will open the dashboard.php. I will start the PHP opening and closing tag here. Okay, and I will echo welcome dot the name of the variable which was this one. Copy it from here and paste it here. Semicolon. I have forgot to do one thing which is to start the session. So I will start the session at first in dashboard.php control s now if i go to the login page and login again we can see that i have written here welcome codeian in dashboard.php so now my dashboard.php recognize me as codeian I want to do another thing that this dashboard.php is only available when a valid user is logged in or they will be automatically forwarded to the login page immediately. To do that I need to give here a condition that if not is set not is set this one or session logged in ok this is also logged in I'm sorry session logged in not equal to true then what will happen the user will be forwarded to the location login dot php for good to do one thing also i did not declare this variable i need to go to the login page and in the else block when the session is started after that i will add a variable here which is session logged in and i will declare it as true so after this point the session logged in is carrying the value true okay so we will go to the dashboard.php and let me check if everything is okay or not it seems okay Control S and we will go to the login page again and I will write code and, and 1 2 3 and login and we are in the dashboard.php now if I copy this path and try to open it in incognito mode we are forwarded to the login page 
okay i will do it again you can see that dashboard.php i will press the enter and we are in the login.php we are not able to access the dashboard.php page okay so that's how we can create a login page in php along with the mysql database we will check the functionality of the whole process again if everything is working or not so i will open the sign up page this is a sign up page i am a new user i will create account my name my username is also my name password is 123 confirm password 123 and i sign up you have signed up successfully and you can log in i need to remember my username and password which was my name and 123 i will go to the login page i will write here my name enter password 123 and login now we are in the dashboard.php i will go back to the login.php again i will give random values and login we can see that it shows us account not available please sign up okay so login page is working properly you can see that and that's all for the video and in the next video we will create the log out option where the user can log out from the system so subscribe the channel and stay tuned and thank you for watching